welcome back to Dogs Hot Shop and Forge. So today, uh, the day after we made the little 1045 um, two and a half LV one kilo um, French cross beam, we're going to repeat the exercise, but this time in wrought iron and with welded faces. Um, we will also along the way grind and heat treat this one, um, but that's a separate video and then once they both those are done I will do a video on hanging them on handles um, specifically getting a functional cross wedge happening which I've been asked about previously so look out for that but today first off let's go find some wrought iron that we can use to make a hammer so we're looking for something that's at least 40 millimeters across and I think I've got a stagecoach axle that might suit. Um, it's a recent acquisition. Um, I've literally just got back from a road trip to pick up some axles. So let's see if that will do the trick. Let's have some fun. The start of another hammer. So we're just cutting some wrought iron stock for the next hammer. Um, this is a um, stagecoach axle. So we're going to start squashing down that hammer blank.
driving a nail through steel. out of gas. I'm trying to get this slug out. We are well past halfway. Should be shearing out. Sorry, this is the uh, dramatic finale. But we're out of gas. So we'll have to finish this one off in the Coke Forge. Because today is not a good day to get gas. Let's get that hot again, so we can do the next four. That's better. Temperature and then we'll fix 
those two together so they're holding, bring the whole one up, they will. Okay, so let's weld the face on the hammer. wondering why you don't use linear wrought iron i.e. not the roll up method this is why you get these longitudinal cracks that develop okay let's do that hot again That's about done, depth-wise. Mm-hmm. 
we don't want this thing drifting out beyond about 45-50. A little bit wider than we need. Well, it's about where we want it, actually. Mm. I hate it when things start jumping. Don't have to go too far with this because we're going to add to it. to flatten that pin out so it's ready for us to weld on the steel. That will happen at my Dudley anvil which is over near the coke forge so we don't lose too much heat in walking around. that hot and get some flux in there.
back into the fire.
No, it's got that hot again. It's not bad. It's not hot axe as much. so I can put this one in to reheat it because it's just coming to the end of its second thermal cycling and it needs to go into the annealing bucket. Um, so we finished the second um, French cross bean. It's still bleeding hot. Um, but, ugh, profile wise, I think I've done a better job. It's tidier. And most importantly, I haven't pinched the eye at all. Um, so, it has had a little bit of grinding done. Uh, I did that hot, um, so it's just a lot easier. I've completely faded in or blended in the welds, so I'm not even sure where they go to. Um, so, that's what I'm going to leave off on these. I will do a separate video on putting handles on them. Um, so look out for that in the very near future. So, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop. Practice what you learn. Refine your skills. But above all, stay safe. I'll catch you for the next one.